Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and retirement worth having. When I'm recording audio casts for my storylines events or my magic and mayhem events or my dragon priest events, I am producing snippets of scenes. The snippets of scenes are saying, who are you in God's house? Are you in the Lord's keeping? Are you in truly his stead? Because what people of a religious right try to do is to avoid people of their rights. And when they try to avoid someone of their rights, they attack their very, very private abilities. They attack their intimacies and they attack their, they attack their bodies. They do not have the right to do this. There is no moral high ground that allows them to do this. And the sexual assailants of our networks, the sexual, sexual predators of our cities are these religious right people. They might be incredibly moral. They might be incredibly immoral. They might try to put a pretty girl in a sundress to play the game, but she'll never win because she's not the one that a man loves. And here's the truth. It is immoral to try to entice someone into a relationship that is not holy. A holy relationship is the one that God provides the content for. A holy relationship is the one that God has you thinking about. A holy relationship is not an obsession. It's not a stalking. It's not a mobbing by a group of people from a religious group or a hospital group or a medical group or a clinician group or a psychology class or a sociology class or a Muslim group or anything like that. It is a man's full-on right in America to be in control of himself, to be in control of his body, to be in control of his destiny, to be in control of his choices, to be in control of him. But when you try to play out of your responsibilities and your accountabilities of harming someone's life intentionally by saying, don't play the blame game, you have foolishly lied to yourself. The Lord God above did not put you in any position to take private information that you may have knowledge of and provide it to the public. The Lord God above did not provide you any opportunities to investigate a stranger and destroy his privacy rights. The Lord God above did not put you into a position of being a nurse to deny someone a prescription that a pre proper doctor has validated in maintenance. The Lord God above did not provide you the right to provide a placebo effect or a different shot entirely to someone who needs to be in balance with their hormones and their rights. I'm going to make this very clear to that community group of nurses who lied, stole, and cheated me out of my absolute rights that they will lose their life to Jesus. Now, what I mean by that is everyone dies. No matter how old they are, eventually God calls them home. And how they go home is really based on how they serve people. So if you're going to be a fucking nurse in this world, you better not deny people their rights. If a person says, I do not want that in me, it means no. If a person says, I want that on me, it means stay the fuck off what I want. Now, if you simply think that you have some fucking right to walk up to a stranger, put something in their food so they pass out, and you have them for a week, to take their time so that you can do what? Investigate their body, investigate their sexuality, investigate their internal organs, play with their titties, do whatever the fuck you think. Who the fuck do you think you are in front of Christ? Or Muhammad? Or whatever the motherfuck international, national, or domesticated religion you believe in. You just moralized and you just demoralized yourself. You just proved that a predator exists in America. You just proved that you want to go to jail. You just proved that every fucking law that America holds dear, that makes us unique, that makes us a country of freedom, doesn't matter to you at all. You see, when I make these video casts, I'm expecting the bastards who like to play in and out of listening, who try to drop hints and don't drop hints and just stupidly drop hints, are giving a tell. But every player has a tell. Every player has a twitch. Every player has a sign. Every player has a hitch. Every player has a word that's not a part of their natural language that they try to use. Every player takes a word and turns it into a nickname, or every player tries to come up and play a game. And the truth is, you better decide. Did Jesus, or whatever you believe in as a God that will eventually call you home, did he ask you to do that? 
because your arrogance, your self-proclamation, your desire to be in someone's space and throw your shit at them, your ideas at them, your worth at them, doesn't matter to that person. That person is on their own life path. That person has made their own journey. That person has probably just been satisfied by God, but you fucking thought you would take away from the Lord His rights to do whatever the Lord can do, naturally with His wisdom.